Uh, hi. Uh, in this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how you can import the data files from FTP server and process the files and also insert the records in Zoho CRM as either leads or contacts or any other modules. For instance, I'm going to show you as the leads. Okay. Here, as you can see on the forum, the OCM forum, you can see one of the users has requested uh, how he can import the files from Active Server and process as the controls in the OCR. Okay. So, by the way, so as if you are a Zoho One user, then obviously uh, you have the Zoho Analytics uh, subscription as well because Zoho One has a bundle of the Zoho apps. So. Uh, and if you have an individual user of Zoho CRM, then you would have to have subscribed to Zoho Analytics as well. Okay. So, I presume you have Zoho Analytics subscription. Basically, what I am going to show you first is that uh, I am going to connect your our FTP server where the uh, files has been uploaded periodically and then from the FTP server, so analytics will uh, import or paste the data from FTP server every hour or every day that we have set here. So let's connect here. Uh, here you can see this is the files and feed port. Keep the name of the table. set the respective file format that you have uploaded uh, in active server for instance I will upload the active server csv file so I select this one so here is the data location you have to select the FTP and here is the some configuration so before configuring this I'm going to upload the file uh, so I can show you okay. uh, here is my FTP server I'm going to upload another file here. Let me see the file. Let us enter back. So you can rename this file if you want. It's not necessary. Okay, now we have uh, our CSV file uh, inside FTP server. Obviously, this will be actually automatically uploaded by other third party. Okay. So now here is our FTP server connection interface. Uh, we have to keep the path uh, of the file that FTP uh, in the FTP server. So here is the path. That I keep here, you can see. Uh, let me show you. Here is a file path here. So you can just this one. And also, you need to keep the file name. Okay. Then here uh, you have to input the host name. Here is my host. Name. Password. Okay. So you have to populate here. Now, once you have correctly input this information, then you can proceed to next. If you have, if the connection has been successfully established, then you can see that it has been also populated here. Okay. Then you can change the format if needed. Okay. Select this one and then close. Now, here you can also schedule this import because we want to import the result every, uh, every three hours or every four hours or every day. You can set anything to one hour. Also, you can select the delete the existing records and then you okay. So, then uh, click on save. So this settings actually what, what 
what the settings would do it actually it would face it record everyone or deleting the old one and replacing the new one okay you can check this one as well uh, manually this will have an info one so logically this will be deleted and new one will be replaced okay. so now we have connected our ftp server with Zoho analytics now the second portion is we have to create a we have to set a schedule in Zoho CRM using deduce function that will run the deduce function and this function will face the data from Zoho Analytics and insert as a leads into Zoho CRM. So to configure the function uh, you have to have Zoho Analytics API settings export data API. This is very easy, very easy to configure. You need to generate one token and that is all I and you have to just uh, configure this URL here. So here you can see. Let me show you. Here is, you can see I have already set uh, schedule, but let me show you. So here you have to paste the code that okay. I'll provide this code uh, in the video comment section so you can generate this code actually what you have to do is to change this as you so when I this email database name here the database name is uh, this one so one is our database name and this is the tables name the tables name so after all you once you have construct this url and then you can process the rest of the data obviously you have to change this because your column sequence might be different you have different column name different columns header so you have to have changed this with respect to this okay? So this is a very simple code here and then you can click on save here here you can see I have set and schedule okay, this one so what actually this schedule will do this schedule will run every 3 pm every day so every 3 pm it will phase the data from Zoho Analytics through API and process this response and insert as leads into Zoho CRM okay so I'm going to run this as manually okay so before running the schedule I need to show you this you can see there is no leads here okay uh, now I'm going to execute the schedule manually. Obviously, this will be happen automatically once you set up the schedule. So, just click on here. And this is done. Now, let's see. And here, list should be automatically populated from Zoho Analytics to Zoho Scanner. Here you can see there are seven records because there are seven layers inside the analytics. This has been automatically populated here. Okay. This is the way and this is the procedure. Then you can automate the entire the entire steps, the entire procedure, uh, just uh, using this method. Okay. Thank you so much.